it's past East prime here and welcome back to surviving mars where we're continuing our playthrough of the various mysteries and we're continuing the wildfire mystery so yeah the mystery itself has started um and we got to see where it goes so again could be lots of waiting who knows A colony itself is Sector scanned. fine, from what I can tell, ticking along. Because it's a, a disease, I've got medical centers in the mall, I've got hospitals. I don't know if it's going to help, I don't even know if we're going to use them, but they're there if we need it. Research complete. Sector scanned. Okay, countdown to extinction. The worst has happened. Wildfire has infected Earth. We suspect this was caused by a recent meteor impact on Mars, which lifted debris and showered them on the blue planet. Several small settlements in different regions have been infected. The authorities report that the victims have deteriorated within mere hours. Something which doesn't match our medical records. On Mars, it takes souls for the wildfire to kill its hosts. We suspect some form of rapid mutation due to the changes in the environment. The infected areas have been placed under quarantine and we can only pray that the authorities manage to prevent the disease from spreading any further. Infection level on Earth has been set to the contained level. If it reaches the extinction level, the human population on Earth will be obliterated. Discover the wildfire cure and supply it to Earth to prevent this. Cosmos, help us all. Okay, so how do we find the cure? There's no research for it. Quenching the flames. So far, the bizarre nature of the infection has defeated all of our attempts to stop it. Yet time is growing short as more and more people are getting sick. The challenge would be monumental as our researchers lack our epi epidemiology. Oh, forgot to. Epidemiological <laughs> data on which to step up. The medical records we've gathered, gathered point out the symptoms, but the chemical structure of the agent is so alien that it cannot be compared to anything known to science. To make things worse, the nanoscale of the agent makes analysis even harder. Only by diverting enough resources to the task we can hope to make any breakthrough. In fact, the wildfire cure research has become available. Hint, each newly constructed medical building will reduce the cost of the wildfire cure research by 5%, maximum 50%. Newly. What about all the ones we already have? Okay, so there it is. Uh, 90,000. So, what if I pull all these down and rebuild them all? What will that do for us? Okay. 
Okay, let's just get them all down. All right, 90,000. Okay. Let's start with our spires. There's three. And... Infirmaries? I mean, what do they consider? Like, you know. So hang on, let's go 5%. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Now we know we can't do that. And then that'd be 60. It's a maximum of 50. So, in theory, if every single one of these buildings gives us 5% off, we should get the maximum 50. Why is it not changing? It was medical buildings, wasn't it? Medical buildings which gather data about the infection could speed up the progress. Oh, yeah, we're down to 63%. Uh, 63,000. That's not 50. I mean, there's a chance it doesn't like that I built all these. the outsourcing going for a start. Meteor incoming. 90,000 though, that's a bloody lot. We're at 63. I, don't, I mean, could we get it lower by building more? Like building them again? Try doing three. Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe infirmaries don't count. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the spires do and the hospital does. Right, let's try building 
two more hospitals. Cat doesn't want to go any lower. Well, we'll just give up on that. We'll just have to wait until we've researched it. Okay, we've got no anomalies. I mean, you could do planetary infection level endemic. The wildfire virus is spreading on Earth at an alarming rate, threatening entire populations all over the globe. The grim prediction is that soon the entire population of the planet will be affected. Scientists on Earth are desperately trying to discover a solution, but so far in vain, the virulence of the local strain is so high that sampling and transporting infected material is a death sentence. The nanoscopic size of the agent makes containment equally hard. Biological filters fail to stop it effectively, threatening the safety of any laboratory which attempts to study it. The only solution is to analyse the original strain, the one we have on Mars, in order to find the cure. Time is running short. Meanwhile, third world countries are in a state of panic as the wildfire strikes the poorest communities. Waves of refugees flee the affected regions and many resource operations are simply abandoned by the scared personnel. The market feels that the hunger for raw resources and multiple demands have been filed for imports from Mars. Infection level has reached the endemic state. Export prices have increased for the next 15 souls as the first world economies feel the hunger for resources. Grave news, we have to hurry. Okay, we, what we could do... Let's have a look. Do we have six botanists? No, we only have five. We have no homes available. Build that. Okay, so let's go with. I'm going to bring in some botanists. Wait, did I not? They're exactly the same. Six scientists and officers. What do we got? Scientists, tapes of those. Officers, no. Botanists, no. All right. Some botanists. Officer, officer, botanist. Officer, botanist. And then 
I'm going to launch two cargo ships. Oh, there's one. Anomaly analyzed. There's another. Yeah, I don't, we didn't have enough botanists to do both at the same time. So I think we had to have one come back to do the other one. Okay, what else have we got? New tech. Sure. Might as well do these while we're here. Uh, no, hang on. Anomaly analyzed. Okay, another three and a half. The only other thing we could do is get research labs in there, but... Could have done that with that. Then again, maybe it's just easy to keep with the outsource and just hope that we make it in time. putting rare metals on and then they're filling up and then there's nowhere to take them back Sourcing. Anomaly analyzed. Breakthrough discovered. Overcharged amplifications. Amplify upgrades gear and a bigger boost to production. No idea what that even means. Contamination. We've just lost one of our scientific facilities in a disturbing set of events. We're still investigating the cause of the disaster, but there are clues which lead to unsettling conclusions. The security log shows that everything started with a malfunction in the storage unit where the analysis samples were stored. After that, the internal systems of the laboratory began to rapidly fail one after another. 
Suspiciously, the damaged systems were all made of plastic and organic polymers all corroded away within mere seconds. Our operatives are puzzled with the cause of the chain reaction, but the chief engineer has pointed out a fact which eluded our attention until now. The remains of the Scoop XI satellite were held in the storage unit of this facility. We didn't take any chances and ordered an emergency decontamination of the building. Let's hope that whatever was in there has been destroyed. A laboratory has mysteriously malfunctioned. Monitor the colony and report any related cases. Okay, I'm assuming we can just get it fixed. Simple enough, maybe? Yeah. How much does it cost? Oh, it's like seven grand for the Hawking Institute. And then if you add that, four thousand. Well, you could just do that, but oh, I don't know. I'm not sure it's worth it. Good timing for meteors. A little worried he's going to get hit, but anomaly found. Meteor incoming. a lot. Oh man, these meteors are great. I mean, you could do that. We could trigger a meteor shower. Meteor incoming. Anomaly analyzed. Capture meteors. Let's do it. Anomaly analyzed. Get out. If we did we complete the I oh, still going. Jesus, hell of a long trip. Epidemic. 
panic and desperation has spread across the population as waves of refugees flee the endemic zones. Wildfire has hit the third world hard. The crisis can be felt across the developing countries and the first world as well. The chaos in the poorest countries resonates across the globe as the raw materials markets are plummeting. Entire resource operations in the third world countries are abandoned as the workers flee the areas hit by this virus. People in the rich countries vocally support actions to relieve the struggling regions of the earth and many companies divert resources for charity. Probably there's still hope for humanity when so many of us refuse to ignore the tragedy of complete strangers. Infection level has reached the epidemic state. Applicant pool is depleted for the next 20 souls due to quarantine measures. We have to hurry. Oh, I'm trying, man. I am trying. It's not easy. I'm even risking our lives by trying to fire off bloody... What do you call it? Meteors. I'm just watching the outsourcing. Anomaly found. Okay, pause. Let's turn the outsourcing back on straight away. How did we get another? Huh. Whoops. Milestone achieved. Oh, and we got 500 points for it. Wait, and we got three planetary anomalies? I mean, go with the new tech. Meteor incoming. Meteor incoming. Oh no! Run on the supplies. Oh, they didn't blow up. Meteor incoming. Meteor incoming. Okay, I didn't really want it right on top of me, but hey. Meteor incoming. I guess when you play with fire, you uh, can't. Um, you can't predict. Incoming. Get a bunch of extra drones in. So we got nothing out of that. All we got was destruction. Well, that's just really bloody annoying.
funding received. Yep, we got nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, got another one on the way, but oh, it's only just going to fire before we actually finish. Meteor incoming. Meteor incoming. Meteor incoming. Generate 3,000 per soul. We got that goal, 30 scientists. Well, we could have done with some better stuff than that. <sighs> so again, all we're getting is the meteors attacking us. And we're not getting any benefit from it. I was expecting to get some research from it that would have been handy not nothing at all meteor incoming anomaly found oh meteor incoming okay we found one Hang on, we've research complete. We already hit it anyway. Incoming. All right, the cure. Tremendous news. The cure for the wildfire disease has been discovered. A genetically modified strain of the Martian wildfire interfaces with the RNA of the virus and effectively stops it from coagulating the blood plasma of the host. The intake of only a small amount of the cure is enough to halt the development of the disease, even though it wouldn't repair the tissue damage suffered so far. The scientists experimented with multiple growth mediums and discovered that the most effective way to prolifer proliferate 
The medicine is by introducing it in mold cells growing on potatoes. This is great news because we can provide enough biomass for the modified mold to grow and if we do it quickly we can still stand a chance to end the suffering on earth. Effect. The curato crop has become available. Harvesting it will produce cure for the wildfire infection which in turn has to be exported to earth to end the crisis. Colonists with infected trait will be cured permanently after their first visit in a medical building. Start the process immediately. Time is of the essence. All right. Let's quickly do that. I really wish we didn't have this damn thing going now. Okay, so that's food. We're not worrying about that anymore. So we're not worrying about research anymore. Are we talking about farms? I'm assuming we don't have... I mean, it could be hydroponics as well. Pull down these infirmaries. Alright, we're going to come back in the next video and uh, continue to tackle this. I uh, wasn't sure how long this one was going to go for, but we have run out of time now. So, uh, we found the cure. Now all we're going to do is actually distribute the cure and um, survive this stupid meteor storm that I triggered and didn't need. Yeah, very annoying. But anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. I read all the comments, answer every comment as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.